So, let us take a quick look at the Intel score i7-6700K and compare it with the older i7-4770K. Both of them are overclockable parts as, as you must be knowing and the suffix k denotes this, that it is a overclockable part and they have some similarity in terms of uh, in terms of the number of cores, hyper threads, the cache memory 8 MB for both of them. Um, the um, we see here this is the Intel's website that lists uh, the difference in, in their specifications. So, it, it all boils down to the clock frequency which is uh, 4 gigahertz base clock uh, for Skylake and 3.5 gigahertz for Haswell and 4.2 gigahertz for 3.9 gigahertz in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the turbo clock frequency. So, we see Skylack has some clock frequency advantage and it has some advantage in terms of the uh, newer architecture which is slightly faster than the Haswell. Let us take a look at the uh, at the benchmark. We have 10182 for 4770K and 10857 for 6700K. So, we do have this uh, uh, Skylack uh, slightly better than the Haswell of course, uh, mainly because it has a higher clock frequency and it is a newer clock, newer architecture. On the pricing front, the, the Intel has kept the launch prices the same 350 dollars for each. So, if you, but it is only the launch prices maybe the current price of the Haswell could be slightly lower in retail compared to the Skylab that is something you will have to check. Uh, there are other couple of differences that we will go through and one of them is the DDR4 uh, 2133 that is currently used it is only marginally faster or probably about even sometimes some cases slower or about the same as the DDR3 that is being used currently. But DDR4 it works at lower 1.2 volt and that saves uh, some power compared to the DDR3 that works at 1.5 volt. But for the desktop users that uh, probably does not make a much difference. We have a newer HD graphics 3530 that is only marginally faster than the HD graphics 4600 mm, as well. Mm. Going through some of the more some more differences, we have newer DMI3 interconnect between the processor and the chipset, which makes its peak transfer rate better at 8 giga transfer per second versus 5 giga transfer per second. But you will have to have work uh, the PCI Express and all these interconnects uh, working at their full speed uh, to make this difference visible. With this, I have listed most of the differences between these two from a user's perspective, and I hope uh, it helps you. The bottom line is you have slightly faster processor in i7 6700K, and it has uh, it has a faster system bus uh, for a and and slightly better integrated graphics. Thanks for taking a look.